Watching gear fail in videos on the internet is terrifying. This clip of Zach Ronski falling and his first piece blew on him is not comforting. When you want to try to send something, you can see that the piece was right next to him and it blew. And they showed pictures of what happened. You can see that the carabiner was clipped above whatever was already in that hanger. And being that it was loaded sideways, it leveraged it wrong and it broke it. And we did a video on sideways loaded carabiners and they did break a lot lower if it was pulled in a certain way. I think that's what happened. However, we just did a bunch of drop tests and you'll be very surprised to see the results. So uh, stay tuned. Hi, I'm Ryan Jinx and welcome to How Not To, where I try to break gear fear. And maybe in this video, we'll create some gear fear to show you how to properly do it and why. Now, it would be nice to just make a quick 10 second Instagram clip or a TikTok about this so you know what to do and why, but it's complicated is the answer. We didn't get the results we thought we were gonna get. You'll see why and how and when we actually got it to fail. So that's what you're gonna see in this episode. And I've been dropping hints about our drop tower that we've been building for the last hmm, nine months. And it's basically, this is our first video. I'm pretty excited. Now we're not done, so be kind in the comments. I still have things to do, but I just wanted to get some videos out. It's time, it's super strong enough for the testing a carabiner that should break lower than they were. So we are using a 12 millimeter static rope that was donated. This is probably 15, maybe even 20 years old, but it should give us the, we're looking for to break those carabiners. This is a dummy or two dummies lashed together. These are 100 pounds each. And we have a soft shackle going to our line scale three. I am determined not to break these. This uh, small soft shackle will break before this fails because they, the aluminum body will break above 90 kilonewtons, but the screen doesn't like it when it goes above 30. And then we have a, a release right here. So when I pull this, it opens up and then we got our swivels and our weight so our rope comes back down otherwise it just stays up there let's see if this even works this is my first time trying this if there's already something on a hanger and you go to clip and it's above what's already there and you weight this by falling on it what will happen holy shit what broke You can see there that there's 99 next to the battery. That means one log has happened and we were at 1280 Hertz. So after 10 kilonewtons, the carabiner looks like this. The other side looks like this. The figure eight looks like this. That was a perfect descent. <laughs> Drop towers, scary. It, I love testing things because it's never ever what I expect. Um, I thought that fuse uh, was gonna be strong enough for what we we're doing. The fuse is something that will break before the line scale. We're gonna find out right now if the line scale survived. Line scale's like safe. Fun fact, we uh, did the Dano leaning tower rope swing on these soft shackles. This one particularly I didn't because I didn't finish burying the tails inside, uh, which is, I wanted it weaker. Just wasn't expecting it to be around 10 kilonewtons. So uh, let me show you what happened. I've never had a soft shackle break like this. So this was the noose that went over the button head and it broke here. Now it slid a little bit before the other one broke, but it broke here which you can see the color because this has been sitting outside. Also, this has been sitting outside in a pile of water with a bunch of rusty tools. So this is worst, 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 worst case scenario, but it broke here. I've never had it do that. Usually it breaks right here because there's a, it's the sharpest bend on the smallest point. For both of these to break, what happened was one broke and then the other, which is why it's off center. Besides the fact this is completely used in a horrible sample, I'm super curious now if Soft shackles, when they're shock loaded, because the heat generated from the knot going is possibly gonna break them lower. 
that's going to be a super interesting test. We're also going to test knots and carabiners to find out if shock loading delivers different results than a slow pull machine. A lot of things to explore with the drop tower. I'm pretty excited. That's not what we came out here to do. Let's do our next test. The rope broke. All right, that's getting pretty groovy now. But that still held. That's so disappointing. I really wanted something dramatic. When I do want to create gear fear, I can't. <laughs> I'm trying to create gear fear so you, you don't clip beaners above other stuff and it's orientated proper, but it's not working. Let's go put three things in the same hanger and see if we can do this again. Uh, this is a big carabiner. And then this is what was down here. And that just doesn't sit well. And I think that's what happens uh, when it actually breaks. Even, even this is actually sitting kind of okay. It's putting a lot more pressure on the one side. But if you try to get another carabiner in there, because you can get it to fit, then it just is bad. It's all bad. So let's find out how many carabiners I'll lose during this test. Dang, that thing got trashed. This is the one I was actually curious about. I knew that would break. Seems to be okay. Hey, the gate's still closed. <laughs> Man, I wish there was an easy way to go up and down this thing. If only I had a perfect descent. <laughs> Shameless plugs. This thing makes it so much fun. These guys um, loaned me a perfect descent so I could be able to go up and down this safely because I didn't think using an ascender and a grigory was gonna be sustainable. So uh, link to buy a perfect ascend down below if you are gonna set up any sort of a gym or top rope self belay setup. This thing's awesome. It's the steel beaner that held this and this together. I think it hit the dummy, it broke it and then flew and landed over there. Let's get you a helmet. I, I was undercover. I was in the building. <laughs> you know what makes this fun? Nothing happens the way I think it's going to. This is trashed. The pin that holds the gate. Um, well, the pin is, we'll never find that. <laughs> we're going to try this one more time, but we're actually going to try to break the carabiner. So we are going to use a span set. And hopefully this is static enough to shock load the crap out of this. I wanna make sure we cover how to do this proper. This is wrong. If you are gonna come up to something and this is gonna be loaded, you want to put your carabiner behind everything, whether this is a carabiner, chain, quick link, whatever. So when it's loaded, it is going to sit like this. But since this is how not to, let's do that. This is a fun fact. I had to change this to the, the new hanger because we did an 18 kilonewton break on our rope and now this hanger looks like this. So it's so opened up we wouldn't get the same results. So now let's break it. Oof, that sounds terrible for my stuff. Ah, the dog bone broke. This descent is perfect. <laughs> All right, I'll stop with that. Um, this seems to be an okay shape, except for the massive groove in it and the dog bone broke. I was really hoping I could just impress everybody with like a four to six kilonewton carabiner break. Um, the end? What's the conclusion? It's fine? It's not fine, don't do that. It's not right. Bobby wants to go to lunch, but I'm determined to break this carabiner. Since I can't do it in a real life scenario, we're just using all the standard gear you would use during a lead climb. <laughs> No 
way. Okay, this is not the same shape it was. I can't even get this thing open. It's permanently deformed in a more oval shape. This thing is rated for 24. What do we get, Bobby? 17. 17? How are we breaking steel beaners at 17? I think it was cross-loaded. Oh, that very likely could have happened. It broke the pin here, and then it pulled out the back so that, like, this won't go. So it, it must have been, like, cross -loaded. The span set was on the side, and it tried to probably come across, and it probably got stuck there and just loaded. So there's little bits of plastic of the oh, yep. green span set there. How bad do you want to go to lunch? Really bad. They don't have a cross-loaded rating on here. Well, now we know it's 17. <laughs> now, I'd love to say that you must do this or you'll die. Um, I'm actually, I hate to say this, I'm not convinced that's why that carabiner broke. Unless that was positioned in a way that I couldn't recreate on the uh, drop tower. I have used carabiners in the past where the uh, fix ring was pre-installed on the hanger and that does create... Uh, a lever that I don't really want on my carabiner. Now, regardless of the results we got, I think it's super important to put the quick draw underneath everything else that you would use between the blayer and the leader as they go up, let's say a multi-pitch route, for example, on a big wall. If the first piece they put in blows or they slip off and they are gonna load, instead of you, the anchor, that's what that carabiner and quick draw is for, then you really wanna make sure that's going to not be flexing poorly. You want it to be underneath all the other crap. It could be your big wall carabiner. It could be the chains that are on there. It could be whatever. And if you can't do that, it's probably best to clip that carabiner, another carabiner. Just make sure you don't clip that quick draw to the gate side of an HMS carabiner. We are also brake testing HMS carabiners to show you that if you load the gate side, they, they, they don't break at 20 kilonewtons. Make sure you subscribe and hit the bell notification since we're gonna be doing this more often. This way you're seeing my videos right away and not depending on the algorithm to tell you when these videos come out. Uh, we are gonna be dropping a really cool shirt possibly on Monday. So make sure you see the video that's gonna come out soon. Thanks for watching, cheers.